Hey, welcome back to my channel, guys. So today I'm going to be fermenting beets, onions, and cabbage. See, I have my cabbage with the Himalayan sea salt, and it's sweating because I <clears throat> I chopped it and then added Himalayan sea salt and actually massaged it in, like a rough massage, to try to break down those cell walls to get it the, the sweating process going. As you can see there, uh, they have the reaction happening with the salt. <clears throat> so yes, it's going to be all these things, and I'm uh, getting this garlic right here prepared. So here's the garlic being added in to the mix. And once I get done with this little part right here, I'll show you how to jar it up. So this garlic is going to go a long way. It's pretty strong, so I don't need <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't need very much. Just like. Yeah. Um, yeah, like this right here, that's, that's plenty. So I'll go ahead and just smash it. And it'll be ready to be incorporated. Just like that, that's all you need to do. Just smash it a little bit. No chopping required, just a little press with the hand with the thumb right there on the knife. Blade. And if you do it a certain way with salt, if you actually put salt on top of it before you do that, <coughs> excuse me, you can turn it right into a paste. But I don't need a paste. So, anyway, that's that. So we have my first jar right here. So for this jar, I'll start by putting in some beets, some onion, and then the main thing is going to be the cabbage. So I'm going to go ahead and put a fair amount of cabbage in there. And this is all going to end up going into jars, so I'm not worried about spilling it or anything. So there we go. Put a little bit of the garlic in there with that. Keep filling it. A few more onions. It's going to be three jars, so I'm going to divide it between the three evenly. Might just be two jars, actually. We'll see. And this jar has been sanitized ahead of time. It's got a chunk of cabbage. I'm going to break it up a little bit. See, this jar is starting to get pretty full. But you actually do want to pack it down, press down. Okay, now it looks like I could use some more beets, some more cabbage, a little more garlic on top. Get that garlic spread throughout. So now, as you can see, pressing down on the jar. All right, so now I add more because I want to get it to full to where I can barely press down anymore, and then I'll do the top. Top it off. So I'll just stop with that one right there and I'll go to the next jar right here. Yeah, and as I said, this before with the other jar, this jar has also been sanitized. Very important. We're creating a good culture in here with probiotics. That's the whole point. It creates probiotics and you're building a culture, that's why you want everything to be sanitized and be using filtered water for any fil any water you are using. Make sure it's filtered. So, as you can see, I'm adding plenty of beets and onions. Now, make sure to add plenty of cabbage as well. Like I said before, it's okay that I'm spilling because it's all going to end up going into these jars anyway. So, it looks like it is going to be three jars for sure. I really have to cram it into these three jars as well. I have some leftovers, but that's okay. It's much better to have leftovers than to have not used, or than to not have enough, of course, always is the rule when cooking. Any grandma could tell you that. Okay, so. So. Got it pretty full, so that's good. Go to the next jar. 
one more jar. But as you can see, there's a lot of cabbage left. So, so I'm not going to be able to use quite all of it in these jars, but I'm just going to blend it. It'll be really good. Really good in a blend as well. So for time purposes, I'm just trying to speed this up for you, the viewer. You know, just sitting here watching me fill jars for 20 minutes. So, as you can see, this jar is starting to get pretty full. Okay, so I got everything incorporated in there. I'm going to pack it down. So I can put a fair amount more in there, probably. See, you can always just keep packing it with these veggies there. But there's a lot of oxygen in there, so they'll keep condensing to a certain extent. And you want them to be nice and tight because the less oxygen that's in there in between the veggies and the jar, the better. <clears throat> you want it to be really tight. It's like this jar can fit a decent amount more into since it's a big jar. <laughs> I'm trying to get a good camera angle for you guys. It's not easy. Okay. Okay, so that one's about as full as you can get it. See, it's popping out there. Just like that, that'll work. This one I can fit a little bit more into. But this one's pretty full as well. A little bit more. Manage. Okay, so that one's topped off. This one, probably fit a little bit more in this one too. All right, well, there we go. That's that's enough for all three. So now I've got all three packed down like this. Now I am gonna top it off with water. But before I do that, I'm gonna sprinkle salt on top of all three of them. And then when I pour the water in, it'll actually send the salt down with it. So that's the thing, you want to make sure you're incorporating enough salt. Not too much, but you do want to make sure to do it enough. And as you can see, I'm topping it off with filtered water. This is a Brita filtered bottle of water, or water bottle. But it's not too much water though that I need because it's already moisture provided nat naturally that I've managed to leach out of these ca the cabbage by uh, salting and massaging it as I had mentioned at the beginning of the video. So I top it off to sum this up as quickly as I can. So I can find even a little bit more water in this. Darn it. <laughs> Stupid. Stink takes forever to fill up. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Just make sure that it's full, but you don't need it to be too full, but I'll show you how to make sure it's not too full. Just like that, as you can see that they are kept off. Now here's the parts that we saved earlier. So I have this part right here. So I'm actually just gonna use these as like a natural cap. So like how that kind of looks like a cap. It's kind of cool. Like this. Like that. Looks like this one looks good. Okay, so yeah, those all look like good natural caps. These are the leaves that I saved earlier, so I'm just gonna rinse them. I'm actually going to cut it out to where it's the same shape as the top of the jar. It's like that. And pull it off like this. So that's about the same shape as the top of the jar, kind of. So then I'll just take it like this, put it in the top, like that. Then I top it off like this. See, there's 
The water is actually coming above there, which is okay. I can dump a little bit of this water out. Not very much though. I want to keep most of that. And so I'm going to do the same thing with this leaf portion. I'll take, let me just rip this one in half. Put it on top of the jar like this. Just try to keep everything in there. Keep everything submerged, I should say. That, see that's holding everything down. Got a cap for it. A little bit of that water out, not very much. Then do the same thing with this one. Just have this last piece right here. So that'll hold it down like this. And then I'm gonna use those caps. So it's like this cap will fit perfectly in this one. Like that. And this cap will fit good in this one right here. This. <clears throat> this one right here. Perfect. That's all I got for you today, guys. So let's just cap it up and wait a week. See what it looks like. Every time I've done it, it's only taken a week to be to where I want it to be, but maybe you like it to be more fermented. But anyway, that's the final product right there, guys. Thank you for watching.